Research Quests are a series of online investigations that allow students to tackle some of the same juicy questions our research scientists work on, studying the same objects they use and using the same data they use to explore those questions. Research Quest got started through a partnership with some of our funding partners who had a shared interest in ways that we could leverage digital technology to help support critical thinking in learners. One of the things that we were especially interested in are the ways that digital technologies could help us expand our reach. We've been working with public schools for 50 years through face-to-face -face programs that have been wildly successful in our state, but we never have been able to meet the demand for our programs. So we hope that Research Quest can be a way for us to reach a larger audience. One of the things that's been interesting about Research Quest is we've worked every step of the way with learning scientists to study how students are learning with the resources we provide. That has allowed us to work through iterative design cycles to get to our final investigations and then to study the learning that's happening. We can ensure that these investigations aren't just engaging, but they're also moving the needle on advancing critical thinking skills. So Research Quest is really designed to enhance students' critical thinking. And we like to say critical thinking, but it's really hard to define sometimes. So one of the things we were hoping to do is to really um, break down critical thinking into meaningful and observable characteristics to look at how those were occurring as students worked together during the research quest, and then to see how those critical thinking outcomes uh, could be observed um, after the research quest, both in what students expressed about how to conduct research, how they understood evidence, um, and how they approached questions and trying to answer them with evidence. My role in Research Quest has been to consult on the learning aspects, to really try and design Research Quest to support deep and meaningful learning processes, especially those surrounding critical thinking, as well as to evaluate whether those processes are occurring in the classroom uh, and the outcomes associated with critical thinking. In the first sets of research quests when we first started out, what we found was some of the maybe easier aspects of critical thinking were fairly natural for students. They uh, were really engaged with the museum objects, so they asked a lot of questions, they developed hypotheses to test, but they didn't always engage in the more difficult aspects of critical thinking, and those are things like flexible thinking, keeping your mind open until you have sufficient evidence so you're not making up your mind too fast, um, and also to really think more carefully with evidence and the quality and the balance of evidence instead of finding maybe a piece or two of evidence and then deciding that they must be right. We designed Research Quest um, over time to try and enhance those um, more deep and difficult aspects of critical thinking. We'd look at the process of what students were engaged in in the classroom and really try and think about how can we create materials, um, prompts, situations in Research Quest that really help students engage in those more difficult aspects and to hold back and learn to use evidence in, in different ways. One of our investigations is situated at the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry here in Utah. And one of the basic phenomena that students explore in this investigation is trying to figure out what dinosaur particular bones have come from that have come out of that quarry. Compare your earlier observations with the identified fossils. Are the features the same or different? For example, do a few species' jaws have teeth similar in shape to the ones in our mystery jaw? That's helpful, weak evidence that can start to point you in the right direction. The process of developing Research Quest was um, very rich and quite iterative. We did um, sketches and low fidelity models. Um, we did videos. We also did a, a whole bunch of video and audio analyses um, from our research classrooms. So we engaged in um, a really detailed analysis of students' conversations um, and looking at how they responded both to materials and to the support in Research Quest, then changing and revising those materials in order to stimulate the kinds of conversation that we know would be beneficial for students. This is a brand new program for us, so it's been a, an exciting and steep learning curve. 
unlike our other programs, it requires us to work with a large variety of partners. We have scientific experts who are informing the science behind the investigations. We've got media specialists who are helping us produce videos. We have interactive developers who are helping us visualize the data. We have web developers who are helping us get it right so that students have an interface that's usable. We're hopeful along the way that we may be able to identify a framework that will make producing future research quests easier, more efficient, in a way that we could share with other museums so that they too could build these sorts of resources. One of the most rewarding parts of research quests, besides the fact that I get to work with a wonderful team of experts, are the teachers. Teachers are under-resourced and overworked, and they have expressed so much enthusiasm for having a turnkey resource that's very easy for them to use and highly engaging for their students. If you're a teacher, you can access Research Quest by going to the website, creating a free account, and what you'll find is access to those investigations for your students. You'll have teacher support materials, you'll have uh, student notebooks, and you'll also have assessments for measuring the learning that's happening in your classroom. There are lots of learning tools that were designed to be exciting and fun for students, but I think the process of developing a research quest where we use data at every step of the way to really hone in on effective learning processes. Um, how does each component of research quest help students cognitively um, engage in the kinds of thinking that are important and to communicate that with others. That process level of development is really unique but very important. I think we could use more of that in educational technology.